All right, we are in Lincoln Center and we are going to the public library. They have an exhibit on Lou Reed behind me. So we're gonna go check it out. I think it's gonna be a bunch of records and listening stations and uh, rare photographs and maybe some lyrics written down. So a little exhibit on Lou Reed, maybe some Velvet Underground and solo career. Uh, so we'll go check it out. We'll see what they got in there. So uh, let's go inside. All right, we had a little video there in the front of Lou Reed, and he was uh, reading Romeo Had Juliet from one of his songs, uh, reading it like a poem. It's kind of cool. And they had a little... Um, scroll there I can read you the scroll it said songwriter singer guitarist and poet Lewis Allen Reed was born on Monday March 2nd 1942 in Brooklyn New York as a teenager living in Freeport Long Island he formed the high school doo-wop band that released one single Reed attended Syracuse University where the brilliant poet and critic Delmore Schwartz mentored him Graduating as an English major in 1964, Reed then worked as a songwriter and session musician at Pickwick Records in Long Island City, New York, until early 1965. All right, so that was a little intro there, a little scroll. And I had heard about this the other day, and I knew I was going to be in the area today, so I brought my camera. I thought I would film it, as it would be kind of cool to go through here. Um... And they have some a bunch of listening stations here. You can listen to demos and live versions of songs. And I guess some outtakes of songs. There's some, a lot of Velvet Underground stuff. And some classic photos here. This is a cool book, that Andy Warhol book, A to B and Back Again. And Songs for Dreller was a record that... Uh, when Andy Warhol passed away, right? Lou Reed and John Cale got together and put out a record, and Drella is Dracula and Cinderella. Combined, that was a nickname they had for Warhol. And this is an early, I think, Lou Reed demo you can listen to. So the listening stations were pretty cool. You can hear, like, early demos and stuff. And they had a lot of cool Velvet Underground stuff here. And this is very large. Uh... It's like five rooms, so we went to two rooms now. And it's like five total rooms. It's, it looks like it's well-funded. Very uh, well put together. It's a great shot, right? Maureen Tucker and Lou Reed. The color photos look pretty interesting, right? And we got some posters here. Oh, look at this great footage, right? This is awesome. I don't see lots of footage of uh, the Velvets, like, uh, live shows. It's always the same clips over and over again. I guess there's a limited amount of footage. And here is Lou Reed's really into poetry, right? This, uh... Allen Ginsberg and Jim Carroll. And it said he was mentored at Syracuse University by Delmo Schwartz. Here he's meeting the president, meeting the Clintons. Bill and Hillary. And here's that Delmo Schwartz book, In Dreams Begin Responsibilities, which is uh, pretty great. Here's his diploma, Lou Reed's diploma. The listing stations are pretty cool. You can hear like live outtakes and demos and 
and they're all over the place. This looks like uh, St. Anne's Warehouse, a famous show uh, where you did Berlin in Brooklyn. Look at that great shot, right? Transformer. The record cover. And let's go check out the other rooms. Uh, here's a big room coming up here. And the next room is uh, pretty large. And this exhibit is free. It's at the library. And look at all these TVs. Very cool, right? Kind of like uh, Namjoon Pike, right? What's is the uh, Fluxus artist? And here is the Coney Island posters, right? I guess for the Mermaid uh, Festival. And there's Laurie Anderson with him too, right? That's his uh, wife, the uh, mixed media artist. Some cool shots here, right? Some al album covers. And all of his albums are in the last room. In the last room, they have all his albums. There's some lyrics, I guess, written down. Some lyrics and some ideas. Oh, this is a famous shot. Him with Bowie and Iggy Pop. And he did a uh, an opera. Didn't he do an opera? There's Laurie Anderson and Louis right there, right? He did a contemporary opera, too, didn't he? He scored in a... Was it at BAM? And this is the painter, Julian Schnabel, right? I did a video on him. If you want to go to my uh, video page, I have a video on a Julian Schnabel exhibit. He's also a filmmaker. I guess they're good friends. And here is the last room, a bunch of this, that Transformers cover. And here's all his records and albums and CDs. Pretty cool, right? It's well done. And some interviews with him in the media. Some interviews with him throughout the decades. All right, I heard this uh, exhibit was going on. I really wanted to get some footage. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. I had brought my camera with me because I knew I'd be in the area. I thought I'd come by and uh, make a little video. Like and subscribe if you guys like the content here. Ring that little bell. It'll notify you when I have new videos. Uh, Lou Reed was also into Tai Chi. I guess he studied Tai Chi for like 25 years and he collected swords. And that was one of his swords that was up there. And this is uh, a great little exhibit here. You put on the headphones, you can check them out. And look at these great classic photos here. Lou Reed and Mick Rock here. And they have aged very well, these photos, right? And there's the swords behind me, right? <laughs> Lou Reed trying to look like a robot, right? Like Blade Runner in those photos. There's some more live footage here. You can sit down and watch a live show. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the content here. Uh, let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.